Uh, so welcome back to the Nanji model tugboat build. This is vlog number eight. We'll show you the progress so far. And as you can see, immediately the decks have been glued into place and I have pretty much finished filling in around the inside of the edge around here uh, and sanding that back down. Uh, that has taken ages to do. It's a uh, right pain of a job to do. Just multiple layers of fiberglass over time and keep rubbing down in between each layer. Um, and then when I've got it pretty much where I'm happy, I've then started installing uh, the little mooring ports you see here. Zoom in on one of those. Yeah, so there's one of the mooring ports there installed. And these are a two part component. And the internal part here. And then the external part that fits through the bulkhead uh, in that manner and then gets glued into place um, you see I go over there uh, there's one of the as the inside of what it looks like um, castings are pretty much okay they need a little bit of trimming up but not too much work when that's all done I'll be able to then give this a coating of PVA glue and water a mixture of that uh, to seal all the wood off against moisture ingress and then the decks will be ready for painting um, you can see I have painted on the outside of the hull uh, just with its base coat of uh, red oxide primer um, I'm not too happy with the paint finish so I'm going to rub this all back down again and then uh, go for a spray can finish once that's all done and all these ports are in, I'll then be able to do the colour above the waterline which will be black and then when that's all done I'll be able to paint the inside decks which will be a green according to the drawing. I think I've got a bit of leeway as to what type of green I use. Um, so yeah, that's how far I've got with the actual hull. I'll uh, chuck him out of the way and we'll take a look at the little crane that I've started to build up. Okay, so this is the progress that's been made with the crane. Um, the main jib and arm have been assembled, little rams have been put on here. I'll turn them around and you can see I've put all the pipes for the rams have all been glued in position as well. I'll put a picture up of the photos of uh, one of the models in there. They seem to have painted everything, either orange or yellow. Um, for me, plant equipment is always yellow, so I've stuck with yellow. However, I thought it looked better with leaving the pipes silver and painting the rams black. So you've got a bit of contrasting colour there. So that's pretty much finished. I do have some little flexible hoses to put in between these two points here. These need drilling to allow them to be put into place. Um, they have sent me uh, red wire to do that with that came with the kit. Um, I'm not so happy with that. Certainly in my experience of plant, I've not seen very many red flexible hydraulic tubes, so I've got a reel of black cable. Uh, I'm going to give that a go and see if I can make the uh, little hoses out of this stuff and glue them into the model crane there. Um, so that's that part there. The vertical beam of the crane is this part here. It's all been assembled and sanded down and glued up and painted. I've got a couple of bits to glue on there. I need the handle, the control handles to be glued onto here, uh, and the ram then to put in on this side so that the crane will sit over there. And then this little ram here will be glued into position. That's a really bad way, isn't it? Let's put it in that way. So if you can see there. So that will then get glued into here to hold it in position. Um, and then again, I have another set of flexible pipes to come from the top here down to the rear of the vertical beam here. If I just spin him around, Let's see if I can get you out just a little bit closer, as close as I can get I think. Um, again I'll put a picture up of the actual moulding um, from the photos that they send. Um, this piece here uh, should be four vertical pipes to emulate um, a set of pipes that come up to a block here that appears to be missing and then the flexes go over and go over onto this piece here. Um, I'm not kind of happy with this so I'm going to 
sand all of this bit down here, uh, repaint it yellow, get a little bit of wooden strip to put over there to act as the block that should be there and then I've got these uh, tin copper wire I'm going to use as pipes and again I'll leave these uh, silver coloured and I'll glue those in, cut those to size, glue them into place here and I think that'll look a bit better and complete it off just that bit better. Um, so that's pretty much where I am with the crane. Um, all of the, the work on the crane, if I zoom out a little bit, uh, all the holes that get drilled, I wouldn't dare go anywhere near this with a uh, either a Dremel or a power drill. So what I've been using is these little pin vices here, chuck on them that will take small drills and then I can drill into them by hand uh, in a much more controlled manner. Uh, that's the way I've been doing that. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video and the progress I've made on the model build. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.